We all like to get the most out of our insurance benefits. So if you're getting ready to go on Medicare, we want to make sure that you take advantage of all those benefits that are available through Medicare Part B, and I'm going to explain those in this video. Now, before we get into the details of those services covered by Medicare Part B, I just want to give you a quick reminder that Original Medicare is broken up into two parts called A and B. A is pretty much everything that's going to be inpatient related type uh, coverage, which is going to be in the hospital or a skilled nursing setting. B is going to be everything that's going to be outpatient related. This is actually called medical. So you have to remember that anytime Medicare Part A or B is going to cover you, it's going to have to be something that's going to be medically necessary. All right. Okay. So let's get into the details of Medicare Part B. First off, Medicare Part B is going to cover things such as lab work. So you go in for some type of a blood work that you need. Uh, it's the B of Medicare that's going to do that. So labs, uh, x-rays, uh, any kind of a scan that you would need. This would be like an MRI or a, a PET scan or uh, a CAT scan is going to be covered through Medicare Part B. These are typically done, of course, on an outpatient type of a setting, so B is going to cover the bills. In addition to that, um, uh, anything that would be surgery related that would be done on an outpatient basis uh, is going to be covered. Uh, this would be the um, uh, ambulatory surgical center. So you're in this center for less than 24 hours, uh, very typical for uh, knee replacements, um, uh, maybe a cataract surgery, a gallbladder removals, hernia operations, those kind of that things that are done on an outpatient basis. So uh, that uh, facility would be paid to be the anesthesiologist, the surgeon, all the nursing services and all those things will be covered then through Medicare Part B because, again, it's on an outpatient basis. Now, if we have an inpatient surgery, uh, then the A of Medicare is certainly going to pay for that as far as the facility charges and everything there, but the doctors are still paid through Medicare Part B even if you have a service that's done in the hospital, and that's what you need to remember. All physicians, all doctors, okay? So this would be your doctors, uh, your specialists um, that you go to see in their office uh, are going to be paid through Medicare Part B. But all the doctors and specialists that take care of you on the, in the hospital are also going to be paid through Medicare Part B. So all physicians pay through B, whether it's inpatient or outpatient, which means what? Uh, if you have a surgeon uh, that uh, conducts a surgery in or outpatient, again, that B is going to pay the bills. Uh, if you go to the emergency room, that's considered to be outpatient, so that ER doctor is paid through Medicare Part B. Uh, as, as well as any uh, doctor that uh, is a hospitalist. So again, these are hospitals that make sure they're round and they tend to people while they're in the hospital, but again, they're still gonna be paid through Medicare Part B. And so the whole point is physicians are always paid uh, through the Medicare Part B system. Hey, just real quick, uh, we often hear from our viewers that uh, they wish that they would have seen a video earlier because they made a decision that really wasn't in their best interest or uh, they made a decision without having this information and it cost them financially. And we don't want that to happen to you. We upload three times every week and the only way you're gonna know about our new videos is if you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification. We're constantly giving away brand new strategies, updates, and comparisons that you don't want to miss. So click the subscribe button below this video right now and turn on notifications so that you never miss another video. All right. Now, the fourth thing that's very important to note about um, uh, Medicare Part B is what is called durable medical equipment, DME. And so durable medical equipment uh, covers really hundreds of different items. Uh, the most common would be things such as, let's say you're diagnosed with sleep apnea. You probably have a CPAP machine. Uh, that's durable medical equipment paid through Medicare Part B. Uh, people that use a nebulizer, uh, oxygen equipment, uh, anyone that um, uh, has to have a scooter or a wheelchair or a walker, or maybe for a period of time they have to have a bed in the home. Again, all that's going to be paid through the Medicare Part B system, okay? And so that's DME. In addition to that, uh, we also have preventive services. That's always covered by Medicare uh, Part B. Now, in regards to preventive services, one thing you need to keep in mind that when we first go on Medicare, the very first 12 months on Medicare, uh, there's a special code for this, but you're allowed to have what is called a welcome to Medicare a physical. Uh, this is an evaluation where the doctor spends a little bit more time with you going through to make sure that everything is set up properly as you're going on Medicare. And then after that 12 months and that welcome to Medicare uh, period of time has lapsed, now you're eligible for annual wellness checkups. All right, and so again, that's gonna be paid through 
the Medicare Part B. All right, now, in addition to preventive today, uh, there also are going to be some, some immunizations that you're going to be eligible for, and it's paid through the B system. Now, historically, that's always been a flu shot, um, a hepatitis B shot, and the pneumonia shot. And then, of course, when COVID came along, they also included uh, the COVID vaccination as well, kind of like coronavirus. And so uh, this last year, uh, beginning in January 2023, this year, they actually began to start covering uh, other immunizations that are, are going to be required, including the shingle shot. Okay, so anything that's going to fall under those items that are covered by Medicare as a preventive service, uh, whether that's any kind of a test or uh, any kind of a immunization or these types of things will be paid through uh, the B of Medicare. Okay, in addition to that, we also have things that are called clinical clinical research study okay and so what happens in this situation this is when uh, there are maybe new medications or maybe uh, new uh, procedures that are available and so if Medicare has approved that uh, for uh, recipients on Medicare it'll be the B of Medicare that will cover that and so that you may have the opportunity to be a part of a, a test program to check out what medications are effective or procedures that uh, may be effective in the treatment of diseases and so it's the Medicare Part B that would pay those bills for that. In addition to that we also have coverage for ambulance okay so if it is impossible for you to get uh, from point A to point B uh, in someone's personal vehicle your own or someone else's and they actually have to call the ambulance to get you, uh, that's the best way to transport you to the hospital or to a skilled nursing facility, uh, then it's the Medicare Part B that's gonna pay that ambulance. Uh, they also have some coverage for um, air uh, ambulance as well. If you're in a situation where it's medically necessary to get you to a hospital quicker, uh, then that could also uh, be covered then by uh, Medicare Part B. And then lastly, uh, we want to make sure that you know there's also some medications that are going to be covered by Medicare Part B. Now, specifically this, any medication that's actually being administered to you uh, by the use of durable medical equipment. So this would certainly be medications that are going through a nebulizer if someone's an insulin-dependent diabetic and they use um, uh, an insulin pump that has tubes on it, uh, that's durable medical equipment covered by Medicare Part B, so the insulin that's gonna go through that pump is also carried uh, and covered through a Medicare Part B. Now again, a lot of insulin is not uh, used, uh, administered through a pump. Uh, people use quick pins today or maybe they have needles uh, and that would be covered through Part D, the drug plans. But if it's uh, a pump, then it will be paid through Medicare Part B as well, which is wonderful because the price is uh, much more attractive that way than running that through a drug plan. In addition to that, medications could include any kind of an infusion medication that could be administered in an outpatient uh, facility, sometimes even home infusion uh, when it's necessary for uh, a professional to administer that or a caregiver to administer that. It would be the, the Medicare Part B that could cover that infusion, any kind of injections. Uh, there's be uh, people that are diagnosed with osteoporosis Osteoporosis, and so that's a bone density issue. And so uh, uh, the most common treatment could be Prolia. It's a medication that's administered once every six months. Um, and so you have to go to a clinic or an outpatient facility or doctor's office to get that particular medication covered. And so Medicare, again, Part B is going to pay the bills. And again, most of our drugs that are going to be self-administered are going to pay, be, uh, be covered through drug plans. But if it's going to be professionally administered or it's infusion injection, um, as well as uh, some medications that would be, uh, we'd be used for treatment of cancer uh, can be made paid through the Medicare Part B system. All right, and so again, a host of things covered through Medicare Part B, especially if it's gonna be an outpatient setting or something that's gonna be a professionally administered drug or durable medical equipment. Hey, my name's Josh Music, and if you've been enjoying my dad Marvin Music's content, you really need to go to our website, medicareschool.com. When you go there, you'll be given the opportunity to download a free one hour Medicare Essentials workshop. And it's gonna take you all the way from Medicare A to Z. By the time you're done watching that workshop, uh, you're gonna know how to enroll in Medicare, when to enroll in Medicare. You're gonna know the differences between Advantage plans and Supplemental plans. You're gonna know how to get drug coverage. You're gonna know everything you need to know to get the best coverage possible. So go ahead, go to MedicareSchool.com and watch the Medicare Essentials Workshop. So those are the items covered by Medicare Part B, and I do wanna close this out, making sure you understand what's your cost involved. Now keep in mind, if something is on the list that is preventive, 
whether that's any kind of a shot, an immunization, those kinds of things, any kind of diagnostic test or lab work that's preventive, then that is 100% covered by Medicare and you have zero uh, cost sharing involved in that. But anything else that's gonna be medically necessary of those things that we have talked about, then the way it's gonna work is this. On the Medicare Part B side, Medicare Part B is 80% paid by Medicare and your part is called coinsurance, which is 20%. So all the things we talked about, that could be that ambulance ride, it could be that CAT scan, uh, it could be that, su that surgeon, it could be that outpatient uh, facility where you go. Uh, all those things that are gonna be covered through Medicare Part B are gonna be covered at 80% uh, by Medicare and 20% by you. Now what you have to realize is that is a tremendous amount of exposure that you have, especially if you go through uh, some, kind of, some type of serious illness because everything on the B side you're going to be out of pocket at 20%. So the way B works is this. We have an annual deductible on the B of Medicare, and that deductible is $226 for 2023. And that just simply means you have to pay that annual deductible. It's once a year. It's a calendar year. And once you've paid that small deductible, and then Medicare is going to start paying 80%, then you'll be responsible for 20% of the bill. All right? Now, the problem with that 20% is it's unlimited. It just keeps going and going and going. There's no stop loss limit to uh, the co-insurance that you're responsible for. And that's why most people today will actually get some type of a Medicare supplemental plan to cover uh, that 20% co-insurance. Now, most people today are actually getting a plan G. This is the most common today. Probably second most common plan uh, would be what is called an in plan. But both the in and the G are going to cover uh, that 20% fully. So that's what uh, most people do. They're getting a plan to make sure uh, they will not have to be out of pocket because that could be a tremendous amount of money if you uh, have a serious kind of illness, okay? And so they get supplemental plans to fill in the 20%. Both of those plans, you would still have to be out of pocket on the B deductible, but it would cover that full 20%. And then lastly, I do wanna remind you that whenever we enroll into Medicare Part B, there is a monthly cost to that. Right now, Medicare Part B is $164.90 a month. All right, now this actually Part B premium is based upon your income. And so the way it works, if you're a single filer and you make $97,000 or less, then you'll pay $164.90 for your Part B. A couple, $194,000 or less modified adjusted gross income. Again, each of you uh, on Medicare would pay $164.90. Now, if I'm above $97,000 as a single filer or above $194,000 as a married who filed a joint return, then we'll actually pay more for the Medicare Part B. Those are called IRMAs, income-related monthly adjusted amounts. So these are the thresholds. So if I'm below the threshold, then I'll pay the $164.90. If you're on Social Security, that's gonna come out of your Social Security check. If you're not, uh, they will actually set up a bank draft for you if you'd like to do that. That's called Medicare Easy Pay, where they can send you a quarterly bill and you can pay quarterly until you go on Social Security. Okay, so Medicare Part B is wonderful coverage, covers lots and lots of items. It's a wonderful value, especially if uh, you get a supplemental plan to fill in those gaps, so you'll not be responsible for that.